Welcome to Mark Reed 757. Today's video is going to be about food addiction. Yes, food addiction has been one of the main culprits in my failures to reach my healthy goals. Uh, you know, I, I get on the right track and then I fail and I get on the right track and I fail. I mean, I think of food all of the time and I don't know if it's a chemical imbalance or just what I've eaten previously or how it goes but I, I will think of food all the time like just right after my last meal like what am I gonna eat next what am I gonna, I'm, why why would I worry so much about food when there's so much to life other than just food I mean yes food is life I mean you have to eat in order to survive but I, I'm I've been doing some research and stuff and I'll get into that in this video um, with my food addiction, I reached a staggering 420 pounds. Yes, four. Four hundred. That's like four small people. That's like damn near eight children. Uh, the struggle of it being so big, when I was 420, you'd have so much inflammation. You'd have, uh, you know, just not want to get out of bed. I, um had a hard time putting my socks on. I, I, I hated having to change. I hated having to take a shower. I hated having to do anything. Just everything was such a struggle. Uh, I was uh, so exhausted after work. I couldn't think straight. I couldn't do things like I wanted to. I couldn't do anything with my kids. It was like just enough to get in the car and get them in the car and mainly hope they could buckle themselves. It was just horrendous you know being 420 that I don't wish that upon anybody and they have some of these my 600 pound lifestyles that's just oh and it, it 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 breaks my heart to see anybody at that size trying to do anything because I I got the 420 and I realized how difficult that was okay I'm, I'm no longer at 420 I'm, I'm around 330 right now which yes I've been uh right around there for a little bit and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more how I got to there uh, the goal the ultimate goal was 220 now I, I made my ultimate goal to be 200 now and I'll, I'll get a little bit more into that as well uh, what I have done in the past with fasting I uh, used to go when I started a, a healthy journey I would eat a whole bunch like order a large pizza or order a big meal or go to some uh, all-you-can-eat buffet place that I really wanted to have and I would just gourd myself and then I'd go on a three-day fast. I just, I didn't even know nothing about fasting. I just did a three-day fast and I knew that you, and I would mainly drink water, just regular water or something, and I knew that I was able to handle that. And a lot of people, oh, that's not healthy. Oh, you probably went into starvation or da-da-da-da, all this other stuff. Well, I felt like, well, as long as I went back to eating how uh, healthy meals after that, then it would be fine. And it usually was pretty fine. But for whatever reason, I, I've never really knew exactly how to eat or when to eat or what to eat or why to eat. And I didn't really take any of that into consideration. And I always, for some reason... Uh, life would happen where maybe I got an injury or maybe I got sick or maybe somebody's birthday party or possibly some type of holiday. I don't know. Whatever it was, it would be where I started to get that food addiction again. I'd get that bad food and I'd just eat it and consume it and it would start all over again. Where Oh, what, what am I going to eat? What am I going to eat next? What am I going to eat next? And um, that has resulted in me quitting doing what I was doing. Well, I started researching fasting like crazy because I I also had times where I would do the fasting and there was like a, a weight loss group on Facebook even that I said, hey, I, I uh, ate one meal a day or I ate once every other day or something like that. And they kicked me off saying, no, we don't promote that at all. That's completely unhealthy. Okay, what I have to ask those people, have you done it? Have you done this? How do you know that it's unhealthy? Oh, because you heard about it? You heard somebody say that it's unhealthy? Well, I've actually done it before, and I I don't feel like I had hurt in my health whatsoever. Uh, in fact, I've always seen benefits from it, 
And that's why I decided, you know what, I'm actually going to research fasting extensively. And I've went to multiple sources and I've looked up everything I can. I start reading as much as I can. I start watching as many videos as I can. And I've been doing that like crazy. And I'm going to continue to do so because I want to continue to learn. I want to know not just uh, their results, but, you know, some of the science behind it. Now, I can't tell you what all the science is because I'm not that elegant at speaking uh, or remembering what everything that was said. Anyway, I so I started back up with the fasting. That's how I was able to lose the 28 pounds that I did lose currently. And I look forward to losing more. Uh, with the fasting, I've learned that there's uh, OMAD, one meal a day diet. That's where you eat so much and then you don't eat for a full 24 hours. Or sometimes, obviously, it might be 23, 22, 25, 26, somewhere around there. But generally, one meal a day. I've also seen that there's an alternate day fasting. That's where you have um, one meal every other day. And I've done that before, personally, and I, I had tremendous success with that i i lost 27 pounds but there again i got scared because somebody said oh you're probably gonna have something where you know you're just gonna have a heart attack and die and i'm like oh shit i don't want to die you know i want to be able to continue to live so i i kind of stopped that then uh there's the long-term fasting where you go more than 72 hours because there's people that done water fasting for 30 days there's one guy I seen he did water fasting for a year you know lost like 300 pounds or so uh, there's an incredible shrinking man on there he's i can't remember exact amount but i think he lost like 360 pounds on water fasting and then there's uh the the one that i've been researching lately is there's like a couple different types of salts that you put in uh, pink Himalayan salt and then uh, potassium chloride and you put just a just a little pinch in your drink and you drink that and that's supposed to help give you your electrolytes because you got to have electrolytes in order to not feel so sluggish and everything and I guess that's able to help you prolong your fasting times without breaking your fast and I guess the reason why people are able to do this is because they have an excess amount of fat which your body will feed off of that's why you originally get fat is it's for when you have times that there's nothing available for you to eat your body's capable of feeding itself now if you were completely lean and had nothing you know no fats then your body starts attacking your muscles so you know when people try to say oh well you have muscle breakdown when you fast too much well, I've been researching people that's actually done the fasting, and not one of them had muscle breakdown, so that's pretty good. Now, has people died from fasting? I believe they probably have, and maybe they died because they were so strong-willed, like, oh, I'm just fat, and maybe that was their addiction, was their, they were addicted to the results and just wanted to keep shrinking, 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 and didn't really listen to their body well i listen to my body 100 percent. you know if i feel like it's uh going a little out of whack then i'll adjust whatever i have to adjust with this all said the month of june will be approaching really soon and i have lost a significant amount of weight already and it hasn't even been a month i'm probably will be around 30 40 pounds within the first month of doing this and that's without hardly trying. I would fast maybe a day, maybe a day and a half, maybe two days, and that would be it. Well, in the month of June, I'm going to attempt to fast as long as I can. And I will listen to my body, and I will be making adjustments with the salt waters, with the food, with you know everything that I'm doing. And I'll go a little more into detail as I do it. The uh, other thing is I, I want to try to lose 60 pounds in the month of June. I believe it's completely possible. I uh, Okay, if I don't lose the 60 pounds, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Not that critical. It's just a, a little goal just to see if I can do it. Yes, 60 pounds is a whole lot to lose in one month. That's like an average of 
two pounds in one day. And some people say, well, you don't want to lose the weight too fast. And I'm thinking, okay, well, the longer I have the weight on me, the harder it is to move around and everything. And if I'm able to lose the weight, then I can potentially do more with the weight loss. Uh, also a good thing is since I've been losing weight, I've been easing up on all the pain that I've had. You know, I have very little pain in my feet. Yes, I still have a little bit, uh, very little in my knee, which was hurting me real bad. My shoulder was hurting me really bad and that, that hasn't been bothering me as much. Uh, I've been getting more, uh, mental clarity. I've been able to stay up longer without having to have caffeine. So I'm not as reliant on caffeine like I was. There's just so many benefits that I've learned and I'm going to continue to learn. The other mixture of fasting is there's what's called a dry fast. That's where you have no food or water. And I've already done that for a 24 hour period twice within the last couple of weeks. And it helps. Uh, I mean, my skin feels a little bit better. It looks a little better. I've, I had these bumps all over my arms and they disappeared. That's amazing. I mean, who would have thought? Uh, I've, I've seen where, you know, I, I had these skin tags and I've seen where people has fasted or dry fasted and their skin tags fall off. Like, what? <laughs> I thought you had to go to a dermatologist and do all this other stuff. Well, it, it's, a, it's just simply amazing. I'll see what my effects are. I'll see what happens with me. And I'm going to continue this journey. I really look forward to it. Anyway, this is uh, starting to become a little long, so I'm going to try to stop it here. But I will, I will say this. If I'm successful in doing what I want to attempt in June, July, I will be around 300 or 270, 260, which is mind blowing. I have not been down to that weight in over like 18 years. That's crazy. Maybe 16, something like that. Just crazy. Anyway, till next time, which should be pretty soon. I'll talk to you later.